Ladies and Gentlemen, welcome, welcome to the channel. To the channel. Please subscribe with notifications on. What do we have here? All right, guys, what's going on? DJ Fire here. Haven't made a video for a week or two. Um, been kind of super busy, but want to kind of share something. I got this cool new little bar that comes off the side of your truss where you can mount it hanging down. I've seen people do it. We've got these sheds. Uh, I believe that's one watt or maybe three watt laser. Can't remember going away. Um, doing the doing the stuffs. I kind of angle it here. My house is a mess. We've been shooting stuff all day. It's a cool looking flower. Um, put it up here on the wall so you can see it a little better. But just kind of showing people what I think one of my vertical truss setup light would be like. I know I kind of did a deal before where I was like, "Hey, this is a setup I thought I would do." Um, I honestly think. I have a class reunion to do in September, and I think this is the setup I'm going to use if the ceilings are high enough. I'll have to double check and measure, but I think right there where they normally set me up, I think I've got plenty of clearance to run an eight-foot setup. That way, the moving heads would be up higher. I could use the bar to have the deal. I could, you know, battery up light, up light it. We can, you know, mount a different kind of power light in there. It's really cool. I wouldn't have that many power cables running. Probably two, maybe three. So I could, this, the stingers have a in and out power. So I could basically come up with the main power because I'll have my uh, power bar link mounted probably somewhere in here. Um, so I'll have it clamped. We'll run up a IEC, plug into it. From there, we'll come out of there, run over to this one, which will come down and over into this. And then this is PowerCon. I uh, wish they would all go to PowerCon. Or something that would be easier. So I'll come out of here, go over, probably come across one of these bars, and plug into the uh, power bar link. And then we'll run down a cable and go into the wall or whatever I plan to plug into. But like I said, I've got a two meter piece here and a, I believe it's a half meter. This is like two foot piece truss. We've got the ADJ Stinger up there, um, which the black lighting was going there for a minute. Have it mounted to the uh, deal that we advertised on my channel not too long ago. So just kind of give me your thoughts. What do you guys think? I think this is kind of cool. Although I've got some different kind of uplighting, I would probably go from there shooting down just so that you don't have a huge amount of light on the ceiling uh, and all that. So yeah, the uh, I can't wait to get this thing going. I've got a couple events that I'm doing with DJ Mike James that will be coming up soon. I don't believe we're going to be doing all of this, but I know we're going to be using the stick of truss. Uh, I'm probably going to use a tall piece because I know it's tall enough in there uh, to use a tall piece. And uh, we'll do some uh, lighting in there, probably battery operated. I believe we're just going to put the 260s on top with a flat piece and go from there uh, and use that. Have two of these in there. As you can kind of see, the beams of light from the laser just from the Probably the humidity in the house. So, uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, again, Cedars Link truss, Cedars Link side plates. That sticker's still on there. I took the other one off just because I don't know, thought it would look more better. Um, Pro X side barn, that's 20 inches. It's got a good heavy duty bracket on there. Um, of course, Chave Intimidator 260. I would love to have a 260. And a 360 on top but we'll probably just run the top plate uh, and probably at the event that we helped DJ Mike James on we also might be running the disco ball and all that stuff that's uh, going I believe October that we're gonna be doing that one so that's gonna be cool um, I'm gonna be getting some more of these I've been in communication with DJ Rick Webb so Rick Webb if you are watching this big shout out going to you I'm getting ready to get some uh, a, a both lighting case 
and I'm probably going to be getting some more of these. I actually have my Best Par 60s up for sale at the current time of recording. So if anyone is interested in the Best Par 60s, um, you can probably find me uh, a link to my DJ Fire Facebook page, or you can shoot me a message there, or you can comment, and we'll get your information if you would be interested in purchasing those, because I'm going to all this kind of style of uplighting. Not to say that the Best Par 60s ain't good, but they don't fit in trussing, and they, you know, they're kind of bulky, which... If you're mounting them for truss lighting or you're using them for uplighting and that's you have some already and you need four more, then hit me up. So uh, I've gotten rid of a couple other things. DJ Mike James is also downsizing his setup a little bit. So uh, that's changing for him. So be checking out. And if you haven't done so, go check out his channel. There's been a lot of awesome new products come out uh, that he got contacted by a company that he's reviewing. So go check those out if you're interested in some um, kind of beginner to intermediate um, to kind of pro lighting. There's some waterproof lighting that he's done a review on, that I've done a review on, uh, that I'm going to be doing a review on. That's going to be so awesome. So, yeah, tell me what you think. I think it's pretty cool. I like this to the fact that I think it's cool. Again, I don't have everything plugged in. I just kind of want to see what that laser looked like. Um... In that area there uh, you could also hang a moving head from this if you wanted you could technically have two of these one on each side hang moving heads from these these guys do not move I mean it's moving just a little bit but it's also because I don't have the clamp all the way snug snug because uh, I'm gonna be taking this apart but I think it looks really really cool uh, for that bar there's plenty of other ways you could use that bar um, if you have any cool thoughts of ways that I could use that or kind of do different setups here drop those in the comments and also if you haven't done so go check out uh, our podcast that we do on uh, TBM productions that we do on Tuesday nights now at eight o'clock it was on Instagram it is now on uh, Twitch so if you haven't done so I will drop my link to my Twitch in the description go check me out there follow me on there I'm going to eventually start doing live streams on there I will also put TBM Productions uh, link in there so you can go follow him because we do live streams on there on Tuesday just talking about DJ related stuff. So if you want to jump in and join, if you're a DJ, contact him. He'll get you all set up. We do it through Zoom and then it goes over to uh, Twitch. So check it out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and go check that dude out. Link in the description. Peace. Cheers to you guys. Thanks for watching.